Hey everybody, Professor Klein back here in the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. And today I want to bring you a, a quick demo on the ear model. And all right, let's jump right into it because I am just naming stuff in this video. There's another video talking more about the pathway of sound as it would come into the ear, into your inner ear, but this is just naming it. So here we go. First off, this is the oracle, the funnel shape to your outer ear. And your outer ear includes the oracle and what's called the external auditory canal, external auditory canal, also referred to the, as the external acoustic meatus, but that's more the bone that makes the hole in your skull. If I look at this skull over here, I got one handy. See this hole right here? That hole is the external acoustic meatus. So imagine, the skull like this, and that hole being this canal right here. Yellow, adipose tissue, fat cells. Red, muscle. This part, the white with the red in the middle, that's bone. And all the ear sits in the temporal bone. You can see that all around here. Next up, we've got the tympanic membrane. And this membrane, I'm gonna pull it out here so you can see it, looks like a tennis racket. It is a membrane separating the outer ear, which would be this part here, from the middle ear, which is what we're on to next. In here, you can see three really small bones. We've got the malleus which is attached to the tympanic membrane. This red line divides the malleus and the incus, the incus is this next one, from the stapes, or stapes, which would be this bone over here. Those three bones, malleus, incus, stapes, make up the middle ear. And there's a little cavity here. See how there's a little bit of space here, a little bit of space here. That's called the tympanic cavity, tympanic cavity, eventually leading off to the eustachian tube. This is the eustachian tube right here. Middle ear bones actually look like. Let's find out. All right, here they are. These are the actual middle ear bones, malleus incus stapes. And the smallest bone in the body is the stapes. Back here though, what are we looking at? Well, next up is something called the oval window. It would be in between the stapes and the inner ear. These circle things, this cochlea over here, that's the inner ear. I'm throwing a picture up of the oval window because it's very tough to see from here. But it would be where that black line is dividing the stapes from what we call the vestibule. And this is the vestibule right here, this roundish part with the semicircular canals branching off. Over here is the cochlea. Back here, two things. The part branching off the cochlea is called the cochlear nerve. This other part actually would reach up to the vestibular apparatus, which are these circles. And this is called the vestibular nerve. Together, those form the vestibulocochlear nerve, which travels to the brain. But there's something to mention about the inner ear. And I actually want to bring in another model to show you guys this inner ear. So imagine this structure I'm holding. But now we've got a larger version of it. So same thing, if you can imagine this right here, enlarged, this is what I'm looking at. And I got another full video on this, but I wanna use this to show the two different parts. 
So let me get it set up. There we go. And the two different parts I want to show are the gray and the white. So the white is part of what's called the bony labyrinth. Think of the inner ear as having two different major layers. One is exterior and it's called the bony labyrinth. And it goes all the way around the cochlea. It goes all the way around here and it's not bone, but it's like the cavity or the layers that uh, would sit within the bone. And it's filled with a fluid called paralymph, paralymph. So anything that's white here on the exterior would be the bony labyrinth. Now that includes the vestibule. So just this popcorn piece looking structure here is the vestibule. And down here, it's been opened up so you can see what's inside. So it's like, what's inside the piece of popcorn? Well, in this case, we have two gray structures and anything that's gray is part of what's called the membranous labyrinth. Membranous labyrinth. That includes these up here called the semicircular ducts. Bony labyrinth or the semicircular canals. The membranous labyrinth is the semicircular duct. So there is a difference between the canal and the duct with these. But down here you can see a bubble at the base of the ducts called the ampullae. Ampullae. Over here you see two more bumps. The big bump on top would be called the utricle. So this gray structure here is the utricle. This gray structure down here is the saccule. Utricle, saccule. Both with the, all three actually, ampulla, utricle, saccule, all part of the membranous labyrinth filled with endolymph, has the vestibular nerve or vestibular branch coming off of it. Now the cochlea, again, you can see it up here. And if I were to pull this off, it does open up. So let me open this up here. There we go. And okay, it's like, what are we looking at here? There's some sort of tubes or chambers going on, but you can't really see what's exactly going on. So let's look at this model to see. And when I pulled apart, you'll notice three different colors three different sections. So if I look in here and I'm going to twist it around for you, you notice a pink on top. Each section has pink on top, blue in the middle and green on the bottom. Now this would spiral or spiral around, right? Remember this is a spiral. So each level you're going to see the same tubes are traveling around and around. I'll throw a picture on the screen so you can see a little bit more of what that's like. But let's just name it. This pink section here is the scaly vestibuli. Scaly vestibuli. The blue part is called the cochlear duct, AKA the scaly media, the one in the middle. And the green one is referring to the scaly tympani, the one on the bottom. Now the pink and the green are considered part of the bony labyrinth, right? Remember the white, not the gray. And the blue part, the cochlear duct, is considered part of the membranous labyrinth. That is the gray. So here's a picture of all the labyrinths to help you out. Tough word to say there, but there are two different major sections of the inner ear as they go from the cochlea to the vestibular apparatus. And this model actually does a great job of showing the oval window. So here you can see the oval window and the stapes, like my thumb would be right on top of that oval window. There's also another window though called the round window. Here's a look at the round window on this model and back to our original model that we've been going through. Flip it over, see number 14? that round circle there, that is the round window. Up here, you can see the stapes attached to the oval window, but you can't really see that oval window that well. So 
in summary, there's a lot going on with the ear, some in the outer ear, bones in the middle ear, and then a ton going on in the inner ear. Take some time on that inner ear because it takes multiple models to show the same thing. All right, so this has been your ear video. Just going through the anatomy. Check out the other videos for more detail on how sound transmission actually works in the body. I'm Professor Klein from Ohio University. Thanks for watching.